Hi guys, how are you doing today? Today we're gonna do our monthly empties and um, let's get started. So the first thing I have is a couple conditioners and back stuff. So let me pull those out. Oops. All right, so the first thing I have is the Garnier Whole Blends. This is a conditioner, it's in coconut water. So I used that up. I really like these. This is sulfate free. Um, I also used up the Soft Soap Blooming Jasmine uh, Body Wash. Um, I did like this, but it took forever. I don't think I'd repurchase this particular scent. And if you hear the dog, this is his room, so he's going outside. And then the third thing I finished up is the Maui Moisture Sea Minerals Conditioner. You see this a lot on my channel. Um, this is one of my favorite conditioners. I will continue to repurchase this. This one is the color protection one. As my hair is color dyed, I gotta redo it because the purple had faded out, but it is color dyed, so that is that. Let's see, I finished up some Assure Pain Relief Hot Patches. Um, these are good. I repurchased them. You get two of them for a buck. I also did the foot treatment mask. This did absolutely nothing. It says you're supposed to leave on for 90 minutes and then within uh, four to seven days, your calluses will peel away. It did absolutely nothing but tighten my feet up so I had to use hand salve, salve to uh, fix that problem, which has always worked for me. But I have an exfoliating one. I'll give it a try, but I probably won't repurchase after that. And that was Global Beauty. Um, I also have the Spa Naturals Activated Charcoal Bath Soak. This was only a dollar. No big deal. I like this. I, I like the bath soaks. I have one, two, three, four. I have two of the tension and two of the muscle relief from the Village Naturals. Um, I really enjoy these. They're only a buck at the dollar store. You can also get them at Walmart, but they're buck ninety nine at Walmart. I prefer the Muscle Relief over the Tension. Um, so I will continue to repurchase those and I have several on backup. I finished a Coconut Lime Bath Bomb from Medessa. This was cool. It turned my water green. I really enjoyed it. I didn't expect it to do anything, but I enjoyed it. I finished three sheet masks this month. The Creme Shop Perk It Up Skin Mask. I have quite a few of these animal print ones. They're fun. I like them. Uh, the Garnier Skin Active Moisture Balm. Um, this one was good. Uh, I have a couple more of these as well. Different flavors. And then the Ulta Beauty Soothing Skin Kelp. This actually made my skin tingle a little bit. It says it's for dry, rough, and flaky skin, which I do have dry, rough skin, but it was um, a little tingling, and I don't know if I like that, but I have a couple different flavors. Like, I've used the coconut one, and I like that one. Uh, this is a hair treatment, conditioning treatment from Hask. I really enjoy these. They're argan oil. I get them at the dollar store for a buck. They're like $2.39 if you go anywhere else. The Garnier's Active Soothing 3-in-1 Moisturizer. This was just a sample. I finished this one up. Um, it was alright. I actually have the other version that's not the rose. Uh, in the big version I haven't tried yet. Uh, I used up a whole blends hair mask today. You get a pack of these for two buck or a, two for a buck. So those are I, nice. That was the last one I had out of all of them. I used up three lotions. I used up the Jergens Original Scent. I got this for Christmas. I used up the Golden Gold Fat and Empty Heart Hands. This smelled like lemon. I really like this, but the full size is like thirty eight bucks. So I will not be repurchasing repurchasing this. It is cruelty free. I really enjoy that. I got that in my Ipsy, and then I got the Corel. Dry Skin Therapy, which I also enjoyed, and this I got in my Walmart Beauty Box, so I enjoyed that. That is actually like 8 to 10 bucks, something like that, for a full size, not bad. The Hair and Body Therapy Stress Relief Facial Soap, I finished this, this was just a sample. Uh, let's see, I finished the Almay Makeup Removing Wipes. 
I like these, but I don't know if I repurchase them because they do make my eyes sting a little bit. And they're supposed to be eye makeup remover, so it should make your eyes sting. I finished a sample of toothpaste from Burt's Bees. This was all right. Uh, we're getting down to almost makeup. I finished two moisturizers. Finished the Belief True Aqua Balm, True Cream Aqua Balm. That was nice. And the Daily Hydration Moisturizer from e.l.f. Um, I like this, but I don't know if it's hydrating enough. I use it under my makeup for my daytime moisturizer. And this I just used when I wasn't wearing makeup uh, to put on moisturizer before I went out. Used up the serum, the Hydrating Booster Drops from e.l.f. I don't feel this did anything. I did keep the dropper for something else. And then I used the Elf Aqua Primer Mist. This did nothing as well. Um, it's $8. I will not repurchase this. I did not like it. The sprayer I didn't like either. I finished up two foundations. This Pure 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie Foundation. This is just a little sample. It's in one of my project pans. I got it in my Ipsy. And then the Revlon Canted I finished up as well. It will not pump out anymore. Um, this did not last very long. I do have other ones, but after this, I probably will not purchase this. And then I finished up a full-size primer, the Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. This is in Project Pan, and I've been working on this for months. I've had it a couple of years, and I finally finished up because shelf, shelf life is only six months, so got that out. I finished the Pure Sugar Scrub from L'Oreal. I've finished one of these in the past. They're not too bad. I finally finished my Victoria's Secrets Bombshell Perfume. I have in my year-long project pan. I'm so glad that's done. Like, I was getting so sick of it. Two mini mascaras I finished up. These were just, like, the last little bit that, um, like, oops. This one's the MAC False Fault Lashes. I don't like this. It's okay, but it flakes. This is the Dulce Punk Volumizing Mascara. This was nice. I just have this little bit on the end. I can't get anything else. So this is done as well. I have a couple more I'm working on as well. The Pocket Bag from Bath & Body Works. The Sweetest Strawberry one. I actually just got five new ones. The Peach Bellini. And then I also got a Strawberry Pound Cake, I believe. So that is all done. And then today I finished off... My Revlon concealer that I've been working on forever and I can't get any more out of it. So I'm calling it done. It's done. I'm done with it. This is like seven bucks. I did not include this in my makeup empties for this month, but I'm gonna add it in. I believe it's actually eight ninety no seven six ninety nine I think is what it is. So, total I used $179.81, not including this or this because I finished those off today. This is $0.50 cents and this is $0.07, so I'll add those in. Um, and then other beauty, oh, it's $100.31. And then makeup, it was $79.50. With a concealer of $7, it would be $86.50 or $86.49 instead and then it'd be 181 all right and then do the math one two seven eight so 187 30 total and 86 dollars and 49 cents in makeup and a hundred and $100.81 in other beauty. So that's not bad for March. It's my highest makeup month I've used so far. A lot of the products were really, really, really close to being done. And I just pushed through and got a lot of them done. I am working on two other concealers, which are probably going to take me a couple months. At least they're in my graveyard project pan. But that is all I got for you today. And I will see you all guys later. Bye, guys.